What's good, y'all? Back at it, man, like a jackrabbit. No, my camera's not working anymore like it used to. I don't know what the fuck happened, man. So, you know, I'm about to go get another one. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm at the gym, of course. Gotta get up at 1. I should be asleep. Or, you know, getting ready to go to sleep. But, uh, once again, I want to talk to people, you know what I mean, about, um, how they still continue, a lot of people still continue to, um, make a status or they, they think a status determines who they are and it doesn't y'all. It just doesn't, you know what I mean? Some people feel like if they're married, then they've reached this God goal in life. As far as, um, some people feel like if I'm married, then I'm some kind of great lover. This is deception y'all. It's deception. That does, now, am I saying that some people that are married, are? am I saying that they're not a great woman or man or husband material? I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, if there are people, which there are, people who are married and they're great husbands and wives, right? They are that because of who they are, not because they are married. See, the problem is with people in society is they they like to put this emphasis on, on um, statuses. It's like everything is status with people, man. Everything. Everything with status with these people, man. Y'all got to get up out of this status shit, man. A status don't make you. The, the person don't make you. That's the problem with people. Y'all are too much into this. Um, a person compliments me, which I get it. But at the same time, I don't get it. So this is why a lot of people aren't in relationships right now because they think that they have to pick a certain motherfucker that compliment them. You know what I mean? This and this or when when I, and they they do it for the wrong reasons. You get what I'm saying? So in other words, like some people will pass up on certain people, maybe they don't have a status like popularity status and they'll get with somebody strictly over that because they feel like this compliments them or something like that, right? My thing is this, what about the woman What about the woman that got beat up by a guy and now she's single? Something wrong with her? What about the woman that got a boyfriend that is in somebody else's inbox? She's perfect, right? Because she's she's in a relationship. Somebody wants her, right? Or let's say this, what about the man that is with that woman that wants other men? Wait a minute, the man is in a relationship, right? So according to y'all, since he's in a relationship, that means somebody wants him, right? So why does this, Why does the woman he's with want another man? Or you could say vice versa. A lot of women are in relationships with men, right? Why do they men want another woman? If they want it so fucking much. Like if they so special, which they probably could, they probably are, you know what I'm saying? But if they were so damn special to the point that what y'all are saying by y'all acknowledge or y'all um, perception of what this is, then why do they get cheated on? Why do a lot of people in relationships not get, are not happy? Why are they um, complaining and wanting to be out of relationships? I'm going to tell y'all like this, and this is what I mean by this. A lot of people should be single right now. They're not single because, let's say, they got cheated on, but they stayed. But if you go by the rules of the book, if you get cheated on, that relationship's over. If somebody cheats and the relationship is over. But you got a lot of people, right? You got a lot of people, what? They don't leave, right? Somebody cheated, right? And they didn't leave, but they're still in that relationship. So does that mean that that person... Or does that mean the people in that relationship or whatever the point I'm trying to make is, does that mean that there's so much wanted more than somebody who's not? Y'all people who are not with somebody, don't let somebody um, convince you that you got to rush and be with somebody. A lot of people are single because they haven't found the person they want to be with. And you should, you should stay single. Don't be like everybody else being in relationships with somebody they don't really want. This is why a lot of people cheat. This is why a lot of people don't appreciate who they're with and all these other things. Because they got with somebody in a relationship that they really didn't really want. 
Why? Because they felt a relationship makes them, validates them somehow, some way, makes them some better person or something. It's not true, man. It's not true. I'm not saying you shouldn't want a relationship, but you should not let that determine who you are as a person. That's bullshit, man. It's not true, y'all. I'm, I'm pretty sure every single person out here really could be in a relationship if they really want to be. They just, maybe they don't want the person, the people that like them. Or maybe they're not ready. It could be a lot of different reasons, but you get the point. I'm just tired of the Facebook posts that I see of people, you know, down, feeling down because they're single. You're probably single because the men you like are not the right ones for you. They don't really like you like that. Don't mean something's wrong with you. It just means you're like, you're, you're, um, you haven't came across the right person that you like that likes you back. That's all that means. But then you have some people who are in that same situation that I just said about people haven't come across the person they like that likes them back, but they still got in a relationship with somebody. So they're not single. It, I always go back to this girl that used to talk shit on Facebook. You know what I mean? I thought it was kind of cool at one point, but I guess maybe by me not wanting her at the first point, you know, I, I'm thinking she got mad and kind of just flipped like we fell out kind of like. But she would always say, uh, nobody wants you. But this woman's in the relationship every every week. So really? So you're telling me a person that decides to, you know, um, maybe I was going through something, which at that time I was kind of like I was talking to somebody. I was with somebody, but it was like on and off, you know. But that person, they was with somebody every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Every week. Every week a different person. Which one would y'all rather be? Or which one seems like somebody is unwanted more than the other? Is it the one that's kind of in a relationship but they struggling? Or is it the one that's always with another dude every fucking week? You know what I'm saying? So in, in her mind, she thinks if a man or a woman says, you know what, I'm going to take my time and, and try to find the right person and shit. In her mind, if you're not with somebody every fucking week, then somebody don't want you. And that's what a lot of people are doing with they, um, a lot of people in the world right now. Like, they feel like um, something's wrong with them because of a damn relationship. Would you rather be with a bunch of motherfuckers? Or would you rather just take your time and pick the right person? Or try your best to pick the right person? Which one? I don't know about y'all, but... I know people say that um, you never know until you try to be with somebody and all this shit or or you learn from this person or that person. I'd rather uh, lower my fucking count of people I deal with and versus I'm going I'm to talk to 100,000 women. I'm going to sleep with 100. A lot of, a lot of women think I'm going to sleep with 100 men and then that's going to teach me some type of shit versus a woman who just filters out men. And realize, oh, well, this one just wants this or this or that. Which one's really better? And a lot of people in relationships, like I say, they're in relationships for the wrong shit. See, sometimes this is another problem. When you have standards, it's not going to be that easy. When you have standards, it, it's not going to be easy. So a lot of people you see in the relationship right now, you wouldn't even be with that person. You see what I'm saying? Or the person they're with, should I say. So in other words, you see a girlfriend, look at my man, I'm so happy, and blah, 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 but her man might not work, he might cheat and everything. And a lot of you women would not put up with that. So in other words, a lot of shit that a lot, some women aren't putting up with when it comes to men is the reason why you're single. Not because somebody don't want you, it's because you don't want the bullshit. Yes, old girl got a, old girl got a boyfriend, but he cheats, but I got a man. He beats on me, but I got a man. I take care of him, but I got a man. Y'all see the point? Or vice versa with men. She don't really love me, but you know, I got to pay for her, but I got a woman. Same thing. Same thing. If you're a woman or man out here handling your business, man, and, and you're a good person, ain't no way nobody don't want you. The problem is you have standards, so you're going to take your time and you're going to find the right person. So here's a good thing too. Here's a good example too. A lot of times, especially if you was with an ex that really kind of was like trying to mess with other people or, you know what I mean? They're so quick to move on and shit. More than likely, they're probably going to have somebody and you're not yet. It's going to look like they winning. You know, they doing all the celebration. You're like, damn, I ain't got nobody yet. 
But in the end, you're going to get the real genuine person. They just got rebounds. A lot of people in relationships right now are with rebounds. Period. They might care about them a little bit or whatever, but it was a rebound. That's how they got the relationship. They settled for somebody because they didn't want to be alone. That's facts, people. Am I saying you got to be the pickiest motherfucker in the world? No, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in like, like uh, being super picky and all that shit. I don't believe that. I don't believe in that. But what I'm saying is this. A lot of people are single because you have standards and you should keep those standards. It is what it is. You know, why just get in a relationship with somebody when you have all these standards, but they, nobody, that, that person's not meeting them, but you don't want to be alone. So, you know, I'm just going to get in a relationship with somebody for no reason. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Bottom line is this, man. I know a lot of married men right now, they're getting cheated on, right? I know a lot of married men who are quote unquote husband material that cheat. A lot of people don't want to be alone, man. Y'all got to understand this. That's why some of y'all, y'all probably had an ex that was, um, I don't like to blame everything on an ex. You know what I mean? I feel like two people kind of fucked up in some type of way. But a lot of y'all probably have an ex that is on some was on some bullshit, right? And they probably got somebody else. And you don't. But does that mean that they better than you or nobody don't want you? Not necessarily. Maybe they settled. Maybe they, um, yeah, maybe the person they got with you wouldn't get with. Or some shit like that, if you get my point. So some like it's 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 just like this. Like you see if you see some women who always get another boyfriend every week and shit, she's settling. There's no way that you can find something worth it that easy every week you got another it don't work that way. Life don't work that way. Every week she got another boyfriend. Every week. Don't work that way, people. Y'all know that's not the truth. So what she's doing, people like that doing, they just getting with anybody. You know, and some of y'all exes are gonna do the same thing. And you're going to think nobody wants me. Nobody wants me. Shit, you might be single because you might be a woman or man on the on the grind. You you not out uh, you not out uh looking for love and shit like that. You motherfucker might not even know you exist. Just being honest. And and I reason why I say make these video make this video because I really feel like most women feel this way. Like, if you're not fucking with a lot of women, they really feel no woman, nobody wants you. That's bullshit. I promise you it's bullshit. Some men don't want, we don't want, some men don't, I don't want that. I know such and such fuck with her and her and her, her. That dude, uh, that, that motherfucker, her, he has this and I know he fucked her and her, her. And all these women fuck, all, all these guys I know. Why would I want that? Why? Why not bypass that? Not saying a woman has to be an angel, but certain things like, you know, like some women, y'all know some men who had, you might be like, man, he'd be an all right dude if he didn't fuck with my, my friend and this one and this one. You're going to bypass that. Your friend might not. She might accept it. You won't. So you're going to be single because you have standards. A lot of people think a good looking woman, you know, a, a good looking woman looks are this um, looks are subjective. I get it. But a good all women have beauty, right? Depending on who, who feels like they're beautiful, right? But the point is this. A lot of good women are single, right? A lot of good women are single because they have standards, man. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. You could say, a lot of people will say, well, she looks good. She's single. Something must be wrong with her. You know what I mean? Or something's wrong with him. Why don't nobody want him? How do you know nobody wants him? Maybe he don't. Maybe he or she don't want the people they're coming across. Or maybe they just don't settle like you have. Because a lot of people in relationships right now are getting cheated on and all this other shit. Yeah, they got a girlfriend or boyfriend, but they're not really happy, right? Or they getting cheated on and they shouldn't even have a girlfriend or boyfriend by the rules of the book. If you go by the rules of the book, a lot of motherfuckers should not have no woman or man. Period. I've been in a situation where, oh, she cheated... You know what I mean? I shouldn't even have a girlfriend, but I still had one. Versus a man that don't, so what? Nobody wants him or whatever. Y'all get the point, man. Y'all get the point. It's not like uh, just because you're not putting your... And a lot of people put themselves out there, too. I'm going to say that, too. So if you see a man, you be like... Um, so some women, the way they think, right? Oh, a lot of women are on this guy. He must be 
something special about him. And this guy over here, it seemed like nobody fuck with him. What's wrong with him? Maybe that guy over there that seemed like nobody fuck with him, he's not putting himself out there. We all know as a man, nine times out of ten, you got to go after a woman. Nine times out of ten, at least you got to shoot your shot usually. Sometimes a woman will shoot hers, right? But usually it's the other way around. So you got to ask yourself, if a man, if it's possible for a man to be dealing with a lot of women, he has to put him, he has to be putting himself out there. No way around it. And that's why it's a numbers game, right? So if he's putting himself out there, you, you wouldn't believe some men are willing to uh, talk to or try to talk to a hundred women just to get one to sleep with them. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Then you got some people who are, you got some men, yeah, he might have a wife, but his wife treats him like shit. You know what I mean? He basically is basically uh, killing himself just to have a woman or to make her happy. And, and I'm not saying you shouldn't give your all to make a woman happy, but it shouldn't be to the point that where really in reality, you shouldn't even have this woman. You see what I'm saying? Because the woman is not good or vice versa. Vice versa. I'm saying it is what it is, man. Don't feel bad about being single, man. You have to trust God on this. What you see in this world is usually the opposite. Everything you think you see is usually the opposite. I don't know about y'all, but fuck a relationship if it's not the right one. What for? What, why do I need it? If I love myself, if I'm in a relationship with myself, and God, why do I need to be with the wrong woman? Not saying that uh, I'm 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 not open to it or none of that. But what I'm trying to say basically is why why oh I gotta have it. I don't have to have it. And I think a lot of people feel like they have to have relationships. This is why they will they end up in relationships. This is why you can have a a woman who talks shit about a man who is patiently waiting for a woman he feels is right for him versus her fucking with a man every other week she thinks she's better than that guy that seems like he can't have a woman Nah, he can have one he just wants a special one right but to her you know she doesn't have standards like that so that's why she's able to have a boyfriend today and the next day and the next day and the next day see what i'm saying so y'all can't look at it that way man i don't know what else to tell y'all man um it's not about no fucking status. And it's not about marriage. Another thing I don't like about people, I've never been married yet. I've seen people married once, twice, whatever. You know what I mean? Not saying I don't want to get married, but I don't want to be divorced either. So it is what it is. A lot of people I know who got married, are been, they've been divorced already. I'll pass on that. I'm, I'm happy that I haven't been divorced because marriage is not the goal for me. It's to be happy, happily married. You're supposed to be married for life. It ain't, oh, I got married now. I accomplished something. No, I just started. The moment I marry a woman is really just starting. That's the way you should look at it. Because if you don't, if you feel like you accomplish everything, you're mm -hmm. going to start getting comfortable. And when you start getting comfortable, bad shit starts happening. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the relationship status of marriage don't determine who I am as a lover. It don't determine if a woman likes me or not. It's bullshit, man. Stay focused. You know, stay on your grind. Um, Keep your standards. It's going to be harder. It's going to be harder. Oh, man, why why such and such seem like they fucking all the women? Because they putting themselves out there. And they, fucking the, and they all fucking the same women. You can have fun with that. Yeah, it seemed like they winning. As a man, you see that, man, they winning, dog. They they getting all the uh, sex. Yeah, but they getting the sex from the same women that's getting giving the sex to them, them and them. Nobody want that. Fuck that. I'd rather find women who try to hold out like you do, you know what I mean? Only deal with people who they find special. I'm telling y'all, man, a lot of people feel, I, I, I've really never been ignorant to this, but most men will feel, she looks good. She's attractive. She's single. She's all, something must be wrong with her, which it could be true. Like nobody's perfect, but sometimes it's because she has standards. And then some men, 
you know, oh, well, she's a gold digger or this or that because a woman wants a man with this or, you know what I mean, certain things. And then they'll start shaming the woman for her uh, preference or her standards. I, the way I feel like if you hold yourself to them standards, you deserve them standards. You know, you deserve to ask for them standards in other people if you ask for them in yourself. Plain and simple. I will give y'all this, though. I will say this. The, the truth to that, there is some truth to that. Um, you're single because nobody wants you, right? But the key is this. You probably are single because nobody wants you. The people that you shouldn't even be trying to get, they're the wrong people. What if I was to tell you that there's actually a right person that you would like that actually wants you? So are you single because nobody wants you? Or are you single because you're trying to fuck with the wrong people? That is the question. And that's what I mean by men. Oh, they look like they win and they sleeping with all these women. Yeah, you fucking with the wrong ones. I, I buy, I'll bypass that. I don't want to fuck with the wrong woman. I don't got time or energy to fuck with the wrong woman. Only women that I feel like could be possibly the right woman. Other than that, then I, I don't care what, I, what it looks like. And neither should you. Because this video really ain't about me. It's about people who let other people shame them for being single. And meanwhile, yeah, you're married, but you, you're cheating. Or you really don't want to be with the person you're with. You're miserable. Sound like I'm winning. It sound like I'm winning to me. You about to get divorced and pay a woman for the rest of your life. And she about to be sleep with another man. All because you thought getting married made you more special than the man that ain't married yet. At the end of the day, man, it's not about the reason why I say it's not about the marriage, because you have to build yourself into marriage material. You need to focus on that, not the fucking the title of marriage. A good example. Let's say you're trying to be a truck driver. The goal is to get the license right so you can be a truck driver. But you need to focus on the craft of getting of passing to get the license. Not to get the light the yeah, the goal is to get the license, but that's how you how you gonna get the license. And when you get the license, how what you gonna do then? So when you get the marriage license, and how you gonna get the marriage license? You have to become this person. People focusing on the wrong fucking shit. Doesn't matter if I'm single or not, because I'm gonna play it. I'm going to play it. I'm still going to create myself into a husband material dude. Doesn't matter if I have kids or not yet. I'm still going to create myself into this father like dude. Just so when it does happen, I'll already be ready. See, you putting some sperm in a woman don't make you the father. Don't make you a father. It's everything that is about being a father that makes you a father. So there's men right now who have kids that I'm probably a better father than them and I ain't never had kids to raise yet. Just by my mind and what I what I analyze with men and how I want to be as a father. By default, I'm better than some men already and they are a father technically and I'm not, right? Like not on earth anyway. So that's what I mean by this, this shit of... Oh, I'm in a relationship. Yeah, you could be in a relationship. That still don't make you a better lover than somebody that's not. Right now, there's a woman that's leaving a man today because he beat on her. And she probably was one, one hell of a, a woman or a wife or whatever. But she got to leave now because he won't stop beating on her or whatever. He won't stop cheating or whatever. Right now. But I know what y'all going to say. Nobody wants that woman, right? You really think that? Yeah, that guy might not. But nobody? I don't think so. I don't think so, man. Everybody want to uh everybody think it's about how many people want you. It's only about one. All I need, all you need, if if you really try to find the right person, if you really try to find what people call a relationship or love, all you need is one person. You know what I'm saying? But if you believe that you're single because nobody wants you, I don't know what to tell you. You're single because the wrong person didn't want you. That's facts. Or the wrong people. And you need to analyze and figure out why the wrong people don't want you. How to not want the wrong people back. Because that's a big one. A lot of times people want the wrong person. And they don't understand why. They have no clue why. They never analyze it. They never sit back and wonder, why do I like bad boys or something? Whatever. You get the point. You get the uh, example of what I'm trying to say. 
Same thing with men. Complaining about how bad women are. Have you ever sat back and analyzed why you like them type of women? Because all women ain't bad. So it got to be the women you like. Have you ever sat back and analyzed why do I like bad women? Hmm, is there something wrong with me that I need to fix or what? Nobody want to do all that though, right? Don't believe that, man. My, my thing is this, man. I really believe that God will save you for the right person. When, the, when God says it's time, I don't care about what the devil say or what people are saying. Who are they? I'd rather wait until 50 years old to find the woman that God got for me before I, oh, let me get married at 25. I, I got to before 30 and marry the one that the devil had for you because you didn't want to wait on God. You go ahead with that. My faith is um, pretty super official, man. Thou shall not covet. Doesn't mean that um, I don't see people in, in marriages and shit be like, damn. That's nice. I wonder what that's like. I wonder what it's like to have uh, be a dad and all that. Of course, I think about things like that. But at the same time, you know what I mean? It's, it's bigger than just being a dad. It's bigger than just being a boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't know, man. I think uh, people need to really stop trying to like people that don't like them. Once you see that they don't like you, it is what it is. Learn how to accept rejection. You know what I mean? I guess. I don't know what else to say about it. I really don't. I mean, in a, in a way, I guess it, it could be true that nobody wants you because you're single. But at the same time, I just feel like you just ain't found the right person. And I also feel like some of y'all feel that way because you're looking for uh, the right person. That's why you keep striking out. That's why you feel like nobody wants you. Instead of you just focusing on life, you know what I mean? You might have dated five guys in the past two years or something versus... Every other week you got a boyfriend. That's a problem. You're going to feel like nobody wants you. Because you keep striking out. You're like, damn, nobody wants me. When really you should have just been focusing on life and let life present that right person to you. You wouldn't feel that way. You wouldn't be fed up. You know what I mean? With women or men. Because you wouldn't be dealing with so many. You wouldn't feel that way, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. If you're a good woman or man, it's impossible. Nobody wants you. You just got to find the right one that wants you. And um, like I said, man, it looks all good. When you see people in relationships, they're going to show you the best part of it. They're not going to show you the, the, the shit that's really going on behind closed doors. So do you want to be, um, the question is this, man, before I go. Do you want to be in a relationship just because? You know what I mean? Just to say that you got a relationship or a marriage or something? Or do you want the right one? Do you really want to be happy in one? You got to ask yourself that. It's a marathon, not a race. It's a marathon, not a race. When you get with a woman or man, you're supposed to be building something, building an empire. A lot of people rushing their project and it's going to look like shit. It's going to fall over. You know what I mean? Imagine you've been in school and y'all doing projects. Yeah, you want to be efficient and all this other shit, but you don't want to um, basically force the project. You want to do it the right way. And the people who aren't, when it comes to this this marriage and relationship shit, telling y'all right now, it's going, it's not going to be good for them. That's why, okay, you break up with an ex. Yeah, it's going to bother you a little bit that she got a boyfriend before you, which she probably will, because because a lot of times they they can't handle being single. If you was with a woman or man who was promiscu promiscuous and shit, they probably already got somebody already. You know what I mean? But let's just say they didn't, right? They going to probably end up with somebody before you. You know what I mean? Because for real, they probably didn't even fuck with you like that. So their feelings wasn't as genuine as yours. So you got to recuperate. You know what I mean? They are already trying to find other people. You, you, It looked like they winning. You know what I mean? You single, they laughing. Ah, he or she single, I got somebody. It's a marathon, not a race, people. It's a marathon, not a race. What good is it to get with the wrong woman or man and it don't work out? What good is this? When you could just be living your life and building yourself up and shit that's all i'm saying happiness is a fucking very important thing in life and by you rushing in trying to get with this guy and that guy it, it could cause it could cause you to lose your happiness 
You know what I mean? Because you want to keep up with the Joneses, the so-called people who feel like relationships validate them or always or they are always in relationships. But a lot of them really should be single by default. How you got no job, right? No offense. But say somebody got no job, a lot of kids to take care of, but yet somehow they got a man versus a woman who is out here doing her thing, but she's single. So y'all trying to tell me that more men want that woman versus that one? The reality is that woman is, is her standards are probably lower. She's more desperate than the other woman who got a lot to lose. You see what I'm saying? Y'all don't get it, though. Y'all not hearing this, man. Y'all not hearing this. If you want something right, it's, you're going to have standards. And when you have standards, it ain't going to be that easy. And that's fine. That's what y'all got to accept. Either accept the fact that standards are going to make it a much narrow path. And it's going to be, you're going to have a lot less options. Or you can just go the basic way like everybody else who believe that everybody who come at them likes them. And then what do they end up being? In a relationship with somebody who really never liked them. I say it all the time. You can use a female, for example. Her inbox on Facebook is way bigger than reality of who's really trying to fuck with her. Or let's just say it like this. Her vagina has way more options than what she truly has. Like she has men that will really fuck with her and want to fuck with her. But then you got them other ones who who really, really shouldn't even be in that um in her bubble, but they are. Now she got to decipher between them too. Because she gotta figure out what the right that's why it's harder for women to pick the right guy. Cause they got so many people in their fucking bubble that shouldn't even be there, right? But some of them let that go to their head and make them think that so many people want them, right? Or you could do it this way. Let's say a woman who don't really show her body to social media like that. Or she she curves every man that's in her inbox. Right? And then the other ones, the other one don't. The one that's curving a lot of men, her face is going to be dry as fuck. Or let's just say she said, I'm celibate until I'm married or something. Let's just say that. I, I mean, it could happen, I guess. Now, it's going to seem like a lot of men don't want her. Or you could be a man and say, I'm not cashing out on the first date like all these other men. You're not going to have as many women at you or fucking with you like a man that would. But does he have the right woman? That's the question. Yeah, you got you got 50 women at you. But I got the one queen. So who's winning? That's how I see it, man. That's how y'all should see it. That's how y'all should see it, man. People want you, man. If you're doing good in life, you're a good woman or man, and you're doing good in life, man, God got you, man. Stop letting people tell you nobody wants you. That's a lie from devil and the motherfucker. Deceive people. People are deceived out here, man. This is why you got so many divorces and breakups and everybody on Facebook every day crying about these men ain't shit, these women ain't shit, blah, 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 right? Definitely going to give me one of these tomorrow. I'm done with this one. Apparently, it's just done. I don't know what happened to it. But that's what. But what I, I thought. Um, since since they fuck with people, I thought they be they're wanted by people. Wait a minute. If you're in a relationship, why are you crying about it? Why are you crying about how bad a woman or man is? I thought you was wanted by default if you're in a relationship. That means there should be no such thing as divorce or nothing. Because by default, you're wanted if you're in a relationship. By default. And that means when they were single, then how did they get in a relationship to begin with? How do people who are single get in a relationship to begin with if nobody wants them? I thought if you're single, nobody wants you. So that means by default, it's impossible for anybody single to... How are relationships even formed? It would be impossible because if you're single, nobody wants you. Somebody had to want you. It had to start some fucking way. A lot of people only fuck with people for certain things, man. And that's how they are getting people. For example, a woman, if she shows her body, a lot more men going to be at her. Does that mean they really want her, though? No. 
A lot of women, like you might be a woman that's not willing to do certain shit that another woman is willing to do. She's going to have more men at her. She's, it's going to seem like she got more people that want her than you. Because you're not willing to do the shit that she's doing. Or you're not willing to settle for the type of men she might be selling for. That's all it boiled down to, man. It just looked good. It looked good for the, the uh, quantity, but they don't have the quality. We looking for quality over here. What as a woman or man you should be looking for quality, not quantity. I'll never forget when one of my friends, one of my female friends said, one of her female friends said, something must be wrong with him. That's why he's single. I'll never forget that. Like he seems like he's perfect, but something must be wrong with him. That's why he's single. Maybe it was the prayer that I said that God keep any woman that's not right for me away from me. How about that one? Maybe that's just God was looking out for me. Ever thought about that? Or maybe it's just me not putting myself out there. Because I'm telling y'all, man, a lot of men who have a lot of women dealing with them, they had to put themselves out there. As a man, you got to. Even as a woman, how does she put herself out there by showing her body a little bit and shit like that? That's why she got more men at her than you, more than likely. I'm trying to tell you. So a lot of y'all women feeling bad, like nobody want me and all that shit. If you busy as a woman, that could be one reason why it seems like it. You, you nobody even know you exist, which could be a good thing because you're not just dealing with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to figure out how men in relationships. You know, they're with a woman in a relationship, right? So that by by y'all, by y'all um perception of this, that means somebody wants her, right? If he wants her so bad, why is he in other women's inboxes? Why does he cheat? Why does she complain about what he's doing if she's wanted so bad? By default, she's in a relationship, right? So she's wanting more than the, the single woman that nobody wants, right? Sometimes, I'm going to tell you the real truth, man. Sometimes women are single because they they like the wrong guy. That's facts. And then you got some women who just got lucky that they like the right guy that actually likes them back and wants to be in a relationship. Because it kind of is luck in a way. Because it's really a, it's really a woman or man's choice if they want to be um, faithful and all this other shit. But if you like the wrong person, you're pretty much fucked. I say it all the time. That's why you got to question why you like people and who you like. Because if you like the wrong motherfucker, you're done. You know what I mean? If you're a guy that you just got to, I just got to have the model bad bitches. Well, then you're probably going to get fucked for the rest of your life. Because it has nothing to do with a woman liking you or a woman being good to you. So enjoy that. You don't want to analyze why you like women and why you should. Or same thing with women. You know what I mean? But I don't want the guy that works. I want I want the 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 I want the um I want the bad boy. Okay, well then you're gonna get burned for the rest of your life. I don't know what else to tell you, right? So you're gonna be single because you like the bad guy that doesn't want a relationship. He might be a good dude, a good person, but he doesn't want the relate he don't want a relationship, or he just doesn't want one with you or whatever. But in either way. It doesn't mean that something's wrong with you or nobody wants you. It just means you like the wrong person, so therefore you're going to be single. It's like people don't get through their head that you have to pick the right person. If you don't, you're going to be single or you're going to get played. It's not going to end good for you. There has to be somebody that really all in with you. That really feel like you're the best. I don't want nobody else. I'm good. I'm ready to be with one person. I'm good. It has to be that. If it's not none of that shit, you're done. I don't give a fuck how good of a person you are, what you got going on, and none of that shit's gonna matter. You cannot tell me that there's no good single women. That's bullshit. I think there might be more good single women than women that are in actual relationships. I'm not saying there's some, there's some great women in relationships. Don't get me wrong. And men, right? But a lot of times, man, people are single because either God's looking out for them because their intentions are good, right? Or they have standards. It's a lot of shit that goes on and why a lot of people are single. You know, some people are single because they want to be hoes and shit. I'll give y'all that too. Like I said, there's a lot of different reasons why.
But I think I'm single for the most part because I don't want to put the blame all on the person, but I just feel like unappreciation. I feel like unappreciation. You know what I mean? I feel like um, maybe too much weight and still not getting appreciated for it. You know what I mean? It'd be different if I carry most of the weight. I'm the man. That's fine. But appreciate me for it. Don't sleep with another guy and shit like that. What about the guy that's single because some woman cheated on him? Or every woman he, he comes across, he see that, well, she's on some bullshit. I, I don't want to fuck with that. He has standards. So something wrong with him? He's just, Or is he supposed to just settle for less? Because I know a lot of women out here are curving men because they don't, they don't add up to what the woman wants. So what? Something's wrong with her? Nobody wants her because she's single? Because she's strong enough to be alone? Until she finds the right person. <laughs> Y'all tripping, man. These people are funny sometimes, man. But I don't I don't judge them or nothing. They just don't know no better. And they're going to be a victim of what, what I call um, getting with the wrong person. Because in their mind, they think, if I don't have somebody, that means I'm not wanted, I'm not popping, uh, I'm not this or that. A person validates me, you know, and that's why they're going to get with somebody and they're going to get burned. It is what it is, man. This relationship shit ain't no fucking joke. This shit's supposed to be taken seriously. Motherfuckers act like you just walk down the aisle with any motherfucker. No. That shit is serious, dog. I only want to marry somebody one time. I ain't got time for no divorce. So this shit is serious. You can't just marry anybody. You can't just have kids by anybody. Some people shame you in this world for doing things the right way. It be, it's no different like how people say something's wrong with this person. He's single or she's single. That'd be like, man, he's broke. He, he got a 07 Cadillac. Like, he got all this money. Why don't he buy a new car? Maybe he don't want to move like you. But when he get that way better car than you and he's so comfortable in life and you're stuck with a payment barely getting by in life, then you'll get it. So in other words, when you wanted to um, rush and get with anybody, have no standards, and now you're divorced or something like that, or you have a kid by somebody and um, they're not a good dad or whatever, you, you're single or whatever, then you'll get it. Then you'll get that being with a man or woman, did not. that's not the goal. The goal is not to be with a man or woman. The goal is to be happy with somebody and build with them. That's the goal. So you can't rush that. You can't just do that with anybody. Y'all got to understand this shit, man. But at the same time, you can't be fucking like unrealistically picky. Like you really got to get, you got to be fair with people. Okay, maybe she don't. Okay, she works at KFC, but you know what? She got work ethic, man. She goes to work every day. She's a good mother, blah, blah, blah. You got to be fair with motherfuckers, man. When you analyzing and judging somebody as the right person, you know what I mean? Motherfucker be perfect. Woman be perfect. Some men are discarded because, well, she's not light-skinned, though. <laughs> or her ass ain't big enough. She's discarded. Like, you can't be serious. He's not 6'5". He's discarded. Like, that's stupid. I don't care what nobody say. It is what it is, man. So, yeah, I'm out of here, man. Um, that shit's just a status, man. That's just a status. I, I really believe that because the whole time a lot of people thought that nobody wanted me or, you know what I mean? Let's just say that. Let's just say, because I've, I've heard some people th say that, a couple people. The whole time, there was somebody that wanted me and I wanted them, but it just wasn't, like I said, it wasn't, it's sad, man. It's, it's, it's something that you don't want to end the way it does, but it does. I guess it's just meant to be. I guess it's just meant to be like you can't tell me you go help somebody, you know, get out of trouble of going to jail or something. And then that person wish death on you or something. But you people are going to shame a guy if he walks away from that. You're going to shame him and say something's wrong with him. You don't know what goes on behind them closed doors. You don't know what somebody been through. Maybe somebody's hurt. Maybe that's why they single. Maybe a person, uh, they heart's not right. 
That happens a lot. There's a lot of hurt women out here right now. They don't want no man right now. They don't want to deal with that shit right now. They hurt. So does that mean something is wrong with them? Or is that why they're single and this or that? And even if even if nothing's wrong with you and you're, let's say you're ready and looking for a relationship, but it seemed like um, every man you try to get with, it, it, they don't want you. It's just the wrong guys you like it. You're not liking the right guy that likes you back, that you like back to. That's all it is. It's not that nobody don't want you, man. You just ain't found that, that match. That's all it is. And you should not waste your time when you recognize that this is not the match. Okay, this is not the match. Um, let me keep um, proving in life. Instead of nobody wants me, now I'm about to jump off a bridge and all this other shit. Or I hate all men or women or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's not good, yo. The devil wants y'all to feel like you're not wanted and all these other things. He wants you to feel like you not uh, you losing. You know what I mean? But we walk by faith. We It's all about that faith of God, man. I don't give a fuck what the devil... It don't matter if it seems cloudy. I feel like if God wants me to be... If God wants me to have a wife, it's it's already there. It's booked. I just got to play my part. I'm going to say that again and I'm going to get off here, man. Because I got to get up at 1 in the morning. I don't have time to play. I got to still hit this gym. Fucking around with y'all, man. If God wants me to have a wife, dog... Nobody can stop that, dog. It's going to happen. I just got to be ready for it, right? And I got to recognize it, which I think is it's almost impossible for me not to recognize it. Like, just to be honest, like, but I already, pr I pray that it's the right person. You know what I'm saying? That's the key. And, and when you, when you try to find the right person, man, versus just dealing with a bunch of people, it's a way it's, you might find them right away. You might not, you might not find them for a long ass time. That's just the way it go. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it go. And a lot of people, if you're watching right now, you early 20s or something, you need to recognize this. Because a lot of y'all, I know how you think when you, you're like 21. You're already trying to be married and shit. Come on, man. You don't even know who you are yet. Some people do get lucky and find the right person at that age, though. Because they haven't, you know, when you're younger like that, you haven't been corrupted with the heartbreak and all that shit, right? But nine times out of 10, y'all not ready. So why are you looking? You know what I mean? You're going to fuck around and think nobody wants you by the time you're 28. You know what I'm saying? Now you can't love nobody because you didn't allow all these people that you should have just bypassed destroy your uh, mental and, and your uh, your confidence and all that other shit. Now you think nobody wants you. That's bullshit, man. And this is what I mean by fishing and, and, and coveting. You know, coveting too much. It's okay to pursue love and shit, but... Like every day I gotta have it. That's like a dope fiend and shit. It's not gonna be good for you. It's just not, man. Don't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I know a lot of men right now with girlfriends that aren't happy. With wives that are not happy. With wives that are cheating on them. So should I feel some type of way? Like, oh, well, nobody wants me and he's so wanted. If he's so wanted, why is she cheating? And they be knowing a girl cheat, but they don't leave. So technically, he should be single. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. There's a lot of people who are in relationships that technically, really, if you go by the book, they should be single. They're not single because they don't want to be alone. Or they're settling. You see what I'm saying? And I hate to use the word settling, but that's what it is. That's what it is. How many women y'all know that you know they do cheating on her or whatever? You single, but she's not. She got a boyfriend, but you know damn well if you go by the book, that girl shouldn't have no man, right? Or vice versa, right? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all cannot let fucking um, statuses determine who the fuck you are. This status shit is overrated. You know what I mean? A lot of people will not even fuck with a woman or man if they don't have status. You know, know everybody. So let me get this straight. Since I don't want to be out there like I'm 15 years old and just have all these people in my life that probably will try to rob me, steal from me, or or sleep with a girlfriend if I had one, all this shit. So I'm supposed to put all this in my life just to prove to y'all that I, I got some status? Nah, I'd rather be alone because I know how the world is. Not saying that I want to be alone, but I'd rather have a smaller circle and not be a status guy than to just have a bunch of people around just to look like I'm some celebrity. That's stupid. That's stupid, man.
but that's what it is and that's how a lot unfortunately that's how a lot of men are judged when it comes to females if this guy doesn't seem like he got a lot of women i'm around him by default most women not all smart women don't do that because they understand well all these women around him i don't want that i don't want a man like that smart women are getting but you have a lot that don't get it especially if you're younger so i hope you're listening she's thinking that well nobody wants him that's why he does it and that guy over there the, a lot of women seem like they're around him he must be wanted by a lot of women but a lot of times it's that man putting himself out there and the other guy he just stand to himself trying to go to college man you you're gonna miss it you're gonna miss a good dude because you think this guy is popping right now you think he's the best he, he's on his way to prison in due time, his, his, his ass is on the way to his his ass is on the way to prison, or you know having multiple kids by different women. But you know you want the status guy, so I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Same thing with y'all men. You want the Mister Mrs. Popular model. You don't want that woman to stay to herself and and is working on her uh, college degree or something. Nah, you don't want that. You you want the one that shows her body to everybody. You know what I mean, Mrs. Popular. That's what y'all want. And then you're going to go cry when her ass play you for the next guy. Because little did you know, she's popular because she loves that attention. She puts herself out there, man. It, it's the same thing. Men and women are popular because they're putting themselves out there. Same thing, man. I'm out of here, man. Y'all believe what the fuck y'all want. Y'all believe what y'all want, man, about this status shit, man. Status don't mean nothing. If that's the case, then every man that has had a kid is a dad. Every last one. Because his status, you know, by him being a dad, made him a dad because he had a kid. Right? So, I guess since you're in a relationship, that means you're wanted and, and, you know, you're some special person. But if you're not, then you're not wanted. So, you know, if you, if you don't have a kid, then it's impossible for you to be a dad, a material dad guy, until you have a kid. You have to have a kid to be that. Or you, you have to be married to be a husband. Material dude. Stupid. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because you can ask God. To, God will show you. God, If you let God mold, this is the whole thing. God molds you into becoming a, a, a father or a, um, a husband before you actually make the move to it. God gets you ready for that. But if you want to do it the same way, you're going, you're going to do it as you learn. And when you learn, it could be bad. You might you might succeed, but nine times out of ten, you're not. Because you're learning as you go. Instead of already analyzing shit. Well, I see how um, such and such. Um, I see how he moves as a dad. I'm, I'm a, I want to be. I'm going to do that when I have a kid. Or, or I understand why he said that to his kid. Or I understand why he's... Uh, what his kid does or hides in their phone all these things you start learning things you don't have to you don't have to be a fucking in a relationship or be a dad or or mom to understand shit you can still so yeah it's different it's of course the experience of course but you still can learn you still can peep out shit and be prepared for it or whatever but i'm done talking about this shit you know i just seen that post and i think it's stupid man that people actually feel like uh, if they're not with a boyfriend, you know what I mean, or girlfriend, then nobody wants them. That's just the dumbest shit I've ever heard, man. I get why they're saying it, but uh, again, a lot of people are wanted for the wrong reasons. A lot of women or men who seem like they're wanted by a lot of people, they're doing certain things that you you probably would not do. AKA, I'm gonna show my body to everybody. A lot of some women ain't doing that. Some a lot of single women they're not doing that. They're not doing that. I'm not showing my body to you. Because I only do that for my boyfriend or something. You know, well, a lot of men going to curve her. I'm not cashing out to you. I don't know you yet like that. Oh, well, then Tyrone will down the street. So I'm going to leave him alone. You see what I'm saying? That's just the way it is, man. It's like uh, a lot of evil and backward shit. It's like if you don't bow down and do what's wrong, then a lot of people not fucking with you. Why? Because a lot of people are not right right now in life. This world is backwards, so understand you're like a uh, outcast <laughs> for real. When you're doing right and try to do the right thing and shit, you're an outcast. You an outcast, man. Oh, you you ain't got a new car yet, man. What's wrong with you, man? You supposed to be up to date. Had a motherfucker tell me one time 
that I couldn't put my old rims from my old car on this car. You got a new car, you got to put the new rims, the newer rims on it too, dog. What the fuck you mean? If I still love the rims I got, how the fuck you going to tell me I got to put new rims on the new Because you feel that way. That's how you feel. Ain't how I feel. Or or you got to be married by 30, girl. If you're not married by 30, you know, nobody wants you. How do you know that? So now they God now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now they playing God. And they know God's plan for your life. <sighs> Look how marriages is now. People getting married, they don't even know. You, you don't even know what marriage is, a lot of them. And they married, you know what I mean? Because they, why they get married? They didn't get married because they found the right person. They got married because, oh shit, 30's the deadline. If I'm not married by 30, something's wrong. Something's wrong with me. So they rush to get married, now they on the verge of divorce. Because they fell for the bullshit. They fell for the bullshit of believing, if I'm not married by 30, that means something's wrong with me. And the woman who got married at 21, who should definitely probably should not be married, you know, something. She's so special. Or the guy. He's so special because he had a kid at 21. So, he, yeah, he's more of a dad than me just because he had a kid at 21. Man, if I had a kid at 21, I don't, I don't know how to handle that. I don't, if I look back at me at 21, if I got married or something, I don't think it probably would have worked. I would have tried. You know, but me getting married now versus then, it's not even close. It's not even close. Me having a kid now versus then, not even close. Because I understand more of what it takes to be a dad. I understand more about kids. You know what I'm saying? I understand more about a, a so-called wife or woman. And I understand more about relationships. But at the same time, you know, some of us, we don't want to go through 10,000 people. You know what I mean? So it's going to seem like nobody wants somebody who actually has standards. That's the whole point of this video. And I hope y'all understand this shit. And I just don't want y'all to let people uh, make y'all feel bad for being single, man. I don't because, um, again, before I go, man, I, I you see it all over the world. Yeah, a lot of people are in relationships with people. But is it the right person? Are they happy? They're getting cheated on all this other shit. So I guess your relationship shit don't matter, right? Now, if you're in a right, right relationship and it's happy, that's what I'm talking about. They ain't, I, I can't say nothing about that, right? But look how many that aren't like that. So, what would you rather be? Single and have the chance to get with the right person and become the right person for that person? Or in a relationship, you got a relationship, but you're really not happy. Yeah, look at me. I got a relationship, but I'm really not happy. Dr. Dre got a wife, but now look. Yeah, he got a wife, but look what he about to go through. Not good. Not good, man. Just saying. Kanye West, he got a wife. Look what he about to go through. Maybe that wasn't the wife the guy wanted them to be with. Now look. Now you got to pay because the devil, you covered it. You covered it. You didn't go for what, what really matters in a woman. So now you got to pay. Same thing with the women. Not going for the shit that really matters in a man, you're going to pay for that. You know, you go after just lust. Nothing wrong with lust in the motherfucker. You got to desire them. But if you go after dumb shit, like I want a bad boy, my pussy gets wet. Well, you're going to pay for that. The devil telling you, you in your head, the pussy gets, your pussy get wet because he's a bad boy. Yeah, you know, that's 15 year old female thinking, right? I'm out of here, man.